125 pounds. Mark Lombardi, a junior from Milburn, 31 and 1, takes on Scott Frenzy from Phillipsburg, a senior, 33, 0 and 1 heading in. In the maroon, that's Scott Frenzy from Phillipsburg. In the blue, that's Mark Lombardi from Milburn. Lombardi, 30 and 1, heading in. His only loss to David Packey from Madison Borough. There it is. That's two. That's definitely two. That was a really nice move. I think Frenzy thought he was going to get out of bounds, but uh, with with uh, Lombardi's power, he was able to keep him in bounds and score two takedowns. Lombardi, a three-time district champion, the outstanding wrestler in the district this year and back in 1990. Lombardi must feel pretty confident on his feet. Uh, Wrestling action out of bounds. Uh, getting back to Lombardi's confidence. Uh, letting Frenzy go uh, to get back up on his feet and Frenzy coming back with a shot. Uh, both wrestlers uh, feeling very confident on their feet. That was a really nice double leg attempt. Lombardi uh, clearing the arms and going deep on a double leg, but uh, again, unable to finish. It still is 2-1 Lombardi. Lombardi who works real closely with his brother Chris. He was a region runner-up. Chris was for Milburn in 1988 and 89. And his work seems to have paid off as he's made the state final. And now looks for the state crown. Steve, this bout's a long way from being over. Both wrestlers, I think, so far have demonstrated aggressiveness in the uh, Lombardi with uh, several beautiful attempts. Uh, Frenzy with some great attempts, but uh, both have been demonstrated superior countering ability, and uh, we're, we, we should see some a lot more action. Boy, there's a nice throw by and a finish off. Lombardi with a great takedown. Strong move from Mark Lombardi to go ahead 4-1 here in the second period. 20 seconds left. Steve, that was a great combination. We had a straight single leg attack and then a throw by. Uh, what a combination. So that combination puts Lombardi ahead and in control here at 125 pounds. Three state champions have already been crowned. Lombardi looking to make it number four. Out of bounds again. 11 seconds to go, second period. Milburn's last state champion back in 1978. It was Paul Finn who won the honor. So it's been a long time in between. And Bill Myron, who was a state champion himself, shouts instructions from the corner. Lombardi will want to try to hold on. He's got two seconds left in there. There goes the time. Now we've got to sort things out. Did the uh, action that appeared to be a reversal occur before or after the uh, period had run out. Uh, Gary Kessel is confirming uh, discussion stages have taken place and it doesn't appear that uh, we're gonna have a reversal. No change on the scoreboard, so after two periods, Lombardi leading Frenzy four to one. If Frenzy's to win a state crown, it wouldn't be his first. With his father, Charles, as the head coach, he won the midget. It's been a long time since then. A lot of work, and we got to mention that. I mean, these guys work day in, day out for this moment, and now it's here. I think people that are involved with the sport realize the amount of uh, dedication and effort uh, for an athlete to get to this state championship round. Uh, for those that aren't, uh, countless hours of not only uh, training in the room, but road work, running, conditioning, dedication, and we haven't even addressed the, the weight control, which uh, we'd like to get back to a little later in the action. Lombardi gives up the point. So now as they head back to the center of the mat, Chris Lombardi, that's his brother. See, I'm always thinking families. Mark Lombardi leading Scott Frenzy 4-2. Does Frenzy have control? He's got to demonstrate control in that situation, and the referees are saying no, there was not control, and I agree with them. Gary Kessel came over and swung by the referee on the mat, 
to give him reassurance that in fact there was no control in that situation and that's a perfect example why it's so important to have two referees out there to concur on those really tough calls. 128 to go, third period, Lombardi leading Quincy 4-2. Again, you hear the crowd in the background, a big crowd, and now the crowd from Milburn excited as their man picks up two points to go ahead 6-2. Mark is relentless. Just when, you, when, it, when Frenzy thinks he's backing off and starting to run, Mark comes back with a great takedown shot and two points, and at this point in the match, uh, he hasn't locked it up yet, but uh, he's clearly shown some superior technique and aggressiveness. Again, he gives up the point. It's now 6-3. 112 to go in Lombardi's search for a state crown. 106 to go as they head back to the center of the mat. Lombardi last year finished third in the state. Actually lost his first match, wrestled back to take third, won five matches in a row. Steve, that's a tough way to do it. Uh, he lost a really close one-point bout in the first round of last year's season. And for him to come back and place third, he did it the hard way. Quincy, on the other hand, finished fourth in the States in 1990. Scott with 90 career wins. 57 seconds to go. Mark Lombardi is putting together some great combinations. Quincy, on the other hand, is taking, taking straight on shots with, with uh, little or no setup. And Lombardi's been able to ward off those shots very well. But uh, the combinations by Lombardi have really been effective. 43 seconds to go. And those last 43 seconds, uh, they go by oh so slow if you're a Mark Lombardi. Mark Lombardi has seconds. the height in this position. If he can just stay with that height, he's not going to have to worry about Frenzy getting a takedown. 30 seconds to go. Can Lombardi hold on? We'll soon find out. He leads 6-3 here at 125 pounds. Twenty seconds to go. Frenzy, can, Frenzy just scored a takedown. Lombardi's in a situation where he can't afford to to start running. Uh, Frenzy, with that ability to turn guys over, uh, is still a real threat in this match. What's the strategy here? I can assure you that Frenzy is going to be pulling every move out of his book to try to turn Mark Lombardi over in this final fifteen seconds. He's got the cradle locked. Now, can he turn it over? Can he turn it over? The referee's counted twice. He's got a two-point count. The referee's carrying two points, and it's over. Scott Frenzy at the buzzer. Picks up two points and picks up the state championship. Oh, my. They'll be celebrating tonight in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. Thanks to Scott Frenzy. We'll be back with more State High School Wrestling Championships after this. So who's the best in boys and girls high school basketball in the Garden State? All questions will be answered. It's the finals of the Tournament of Champions. A true number one team is crowned among the group and parochial champions for both boys and girls. So join Pat Scanlon and Rob Kennedy for all the action. NJSIAA Basketball Finals tomorrow. Girls at 5 and boys at 6.30. Welcome back to the New Jersey High School Wrestling Championships. We move on to 130 pounds. Defending state champ Emilio Nardones from Belleville. He's a senior, 30-0. And, and he takes on Sam DeLeo from Middletown South. 
13 and 2 on the year. He's a senior. Expect to see a lot of action in this bout. There's Nardone quickly looking for control. Nardone in the blue uniforms with the gold and white trim. And Nardone looking to pick up some early points against the Leo, who runs out of bounds. And there's Sam in your picture. Well, these wrestlers aren't taking 30 or 40 seconds to get acquainted. They've really gone at each other. And the early points for Nardone, he leads 2-0. Emilio, a state champion last year, goes by the nickname Junior. And Junior won the state crown in fine fashion. In fact, if he can win a state crown here, it will be three out of four years with a Nardone winning a state championship. His brother Armando won the state crown back in 1989. Emilio just really made some nice adjustments on that single leg attack, uh, countering the overhook with a limp arm and going behind for two. Uh, obviously, he feels very comfortable on his feet, but his aggressive style has uh, really been impressive so far. One eighteen to go, first period, and Nardone leads this one 4-1. We're at 130 pounds, and Nardone leads Sam DeLeo from Middletown South. 